probably something I bought off eBay. We opened our Amazon stuff already. New Amazon stuff, so let's see. Probably a motherboard. And, wow, well, a lot of uh, wasted space in this box. And somewhat decent job of uh, wrapping it. Could have used a little, little bit of tape. Um, all right, so this is supposedly a, a new motherboard, um, though obviously it's been opened. It would appear. So let's uh let's check this thing out. All right. This is the Gigabyte B360M DS3H. So I wanted to get a hold of one of these. Um I got this for oh gosh. I think $17 plus shipping. So less than $30 for a brand new motherboard. I'm a bargain shopper. Um so hopefully it works. But uh, this will be good for 8th gen out of the box. And then after a BIOS update, 9th gen. Um, but uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some stuff missing in here. No heat shield. It's supposed to be a heat shield in here. Um, and he's missing some of the directions, it looks like. So this guy... I will not be buying from him in the future again. All right. So we may go without a uh, heat shield. Insulation disc. Multilingual installation guide. So if you guys uh, have heard me talk, I'm a big fan of MSI's instructions, and I kind of feel like Gigabytes really lack. Um, and you can see... They did not do a whole lot here. Um, this this is not the most helpful of uh, drawings. And, you know, they're missing a few cables here. So, not real impressed with that. Um, now, now, the fact this didn't have all the stuff it's supposed to have uh, makes me wonder if this is really going to be... Um, this motherboard's going to be good to go or not. All right, so let's actually get rid of the box and put it on its anti-static thing. So this is probably somebody that bought a 9th gen chip and a 8th gen motherboard and decided not to install it, or who knows what. But uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get our our other camera going here. Um, so things to talk about the, uh, that's where your CP is going to go. Okay. And, um, there's some interesting notes on the, uh, cover there. Um, one thing when you do install this, uh, I usually like to remove these, but, uh, you can put the CPU in and then keep that on there and it's supposed to pop off. Uh, I never do it that way, but and you want to hold on to this, so after I install it, I'll put it in the box. All right, so you've got PCI Express uh, 3.0. And this one actually has the two different sizes in here. Um, extra ones. Or the, excuse me, the smaller uh, PCI Express. And uh, you actually don't always see that. So the PCI Express times one and the PCI Express times four is the bigger one. All right, so uh, where should we go? Let's rotate this. All right, so over here, you've got your uh, your F-Audio. Um, so off of your, off of your case, um, you plug directly into that for your, your audio comms. Um, this is going to be your LPT there. And I really like the ones that are encased. This one's just kind of um, 
looks the way it is, but here's your uh, some of your front USBs, one and two, and then over here is your uh, USB uh, 3.1. Now, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So the uh, the front panel. This is where you're gonna your uh, HDD reset and uh, power. Um, and there's one other in there that I'm forgetting at the moment. That's where those connectors are going to go. So when I was talking about the instructions are a little weak, that is where uh, the instructions are weak. So the uh, MSI instructions are real good about detailing that out. You've got a total of six SATA threes. Okay, so two there, four there. There's where your 24 pin uh, power comes in from your power supply. This has four slots for um, DDR4 RAM, which is pretty cool. There is your uh, CPU power right there. Then the CPU fan is right there. Here's a system fan. So one second system fan. And I do not see... Uh, that's all. So only... Wait. Okay. And a third um, system fan back here. So not too bad. Some of these only have one system fan, one CPU fan. All right, so um, M2 and included screw, which is nice. So we will put an M2 um, NVMe in here and install the operating system. Things to look out for in this, I will do a BIOS update video. I'll probably try and install this with the 9th gen chip just so you guys can see that uh, if it works. So you see uh, standard stuff here, USB 2.0s, the old PS2 style for mouse and keyboard, VGA, DVI Dual, HDMI, um, USB 3.0, four of those, Ethernet, and then the mic, headphone. All right, so that's about it for this, folks. I'll do a, some flyovers, so hopefully you can get a good good sense of the motherboard and I should have turned on the uh, macro so hopefully it won't come out blurry macro uh, I can get super close alright thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe